But let's talk about with J.K. Dobbins suffering, unfortunately, that Achilles tear. Just pour one out for him. You know, so sad. Right as he enters a contract year, it's the brutal nature of the game, brutal nature of the business. You hate to see it. But we have to be left picking up the pieces. And I actually think Gus Edwards and Justice Hill, that might end up being the fool's gold of this waiver wire. Some people having them all the way at the top of the list. It seems like the natural shoe in I don't know how I feel about it. I think it will definitely be a committee. If you look no further than the snaps after Dobbins left, Hill 41%, Edwards 38%. Attempts, Hill 41%, Edwards 47 Routes, Hill 33 Edwards 27 It was almost a near even split, with a little bit of varied usage here and there based on the role. Uh, it looked like that Justice Hill might get the more valuable touches, those two goal line touchdowns. He dominated the passing game shares as well. But I wouldn't be so quick to run and put all my money on him. If I'm picking one of these guys, in fact, I kind of like Gus Edwards, a much more established track record of the NFL. In fact, with over 500 career carries in the Super Bowl era, he ranks behind only Bo Jackson, Jamal Charles, Nick Chubb with 5.2 yards per carry over his career. That is not bad company to be mentioned inside. So I definitely think the track record can win out here that Edwards will be the more viable guy. But in addition to this being a potential 50-50 annoying split all season, what if they trade for JT? Melvin Gordon has just gotten called up from the practice squad and they definitely could continue to add to this backfield as well. So that's why I'd probably go $15 a fab, you know, 10 to 15% on either guy. I'd still like all the reports in the preseason were Justice Hill's the guy. He played ahead of him in the preseason snaps. He fits the Todd Monken scheme better. So maybe it will be Justice Hill. Two years removed from that Achilles surgery. It's not without the realm of possibility that he is just the better guy for this offense and ultimately gets the usage because of that. I still go with the Gus Edwards track record if I'm picking one or the other. But again, want to reiterate Kyron Williams, Josh Kelly, Kenny Gainwell, all guys that I'd consider well ahead of these Ravens running backs. Now wrapping up the list with the last three names here. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments, check out some more videos, and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below.